Hello, my name is Leopoldo Armesto and in this video I'm going to show how to uh, download, install and also how to use Facilino software. As you know, Facilino is a block programming tool in order to program electronics such as Arduino and it's a website that uh, you can use uh, in order to program and also it has a GUI, an application that you can install on, on a Windows machine in order to even upload the code to the electronics. It requires a user account, so for that you need to log in and if you have not registered yet then you can fill the form here with some basic data, uh, particularly your name, uh, your email and then you will receive an email uh, with a link that you have to click once and then you will, uh, will be registered. Uh, if you want uh, you can log in uh, here Okay, and once you're locked, you will see your, uh, well in this case it's in Spanish because each user account, sorry, uh, not this one, the user account, this one, can be changed into English, so let me update it, okay, now it's in English, so every, um, once you're logging, you have the dash, the project dashboard in which you have a list of all your projects that you that are associated to your user account. You can create a new project and when you create a new project you need to select one of the first uh, options you need to do is to select which kind of electronics are you going to use. Uh, let's say an Arduino Uno. In this case I have connected to my PC uh, this, this board so I'm going to select this one. This is the Facilino version. There are several versions. Uh, the standard one which is the, this one the Facilino Junior which is a simplified version, uh, which simplifies set of instruction and it's this one which is used in order to upload code to the electronics part over the OTA, over the air. Okay. Right now my board is connected to USB port so I'm going to use this option and this uh, third option will uh, uh, allow you to select which kind of project you want to develop. Uh, depending on the project some instructions are more useful than others. Um, if you have no clear idea about what kind of project you want to do at the beginning or you just simply want to uh, try Facilino, you can use the generic project. But if you use specific projects here, some instructions will be hidden, uh, but you can always, of course, uh, show them um, on demand, let's say. Okay? That's basically to simplify the set of instructions. But let's select the generic project. Here you can put a project name, uh, project uh, one, let's say and create the project. So once you create the project you are uh, you go to the uh, programming page in which you have a full list of instructions here in which you can use in order to generate your uh, code. Okay, you have the logic, you have control, you have access to um, basic input and output signals, you have all the instructions that Patalino offers you and every Every time you generate or add an instruction here in this tab here with the Arduino code, you will see the actual Arduino code that is being generated. Like for instance, if I put a delay, let's say, a block instruction like this one, and I put it here in the loop, it will add the corresponding code affecting or regarding with the delay. Okay, and. Um, in order to save your, pro, uh, your, your changes, you need to click here and go back to projects. If you click here to, on the back button of the, on, on the browser, you will lose, lose the changes, but you need to click here in order uh, to save the changes. You can check that everything is fine. If you go back again to the project, as you can see, the project is still there. And also, you can always, uh, here you have some actions, particularly you can edit some of the options because uh, you want to let's say use this project but with a different uh, let's say electronics then you can use and change those things here uh, let's say let's I want to change the electronics update and then the, uh, the, the board will be in Arduino Uno. The difference is that some in uh, from the point of view of, uh, of uh, a programmer, a block programming Programmer, sorry, I, I'm going to go back to the previous uh, board, this one. 
Okay. Uh, in terms of blocks, there are no real, not real changes on uh, depending on the board you select. Not, not apparently there are no few uh, instructions are slightly different, but most 99% uh, of them are very similar. But the generated code might change depending on the board instruction. But this is supposed to be transparent to the uh, user that is only interested in block programming. Okay, so that's why we need to select the electronic board. Okay. Also, let me show also this part here in which we have some tutorials and examples and exercises that you can use. If you go here and you go to exercises, then you will have a full set of ex exercises. Some of them we will uh, present it on videos, but you, ha you will have a set of exercises that you can go inside of them. There's a description about what kind of materials you can use, what's the purpose and uh, some um, description about what you want to what we want to do on this exercise some of the work instructions that are uh, intended to be used in these exercises also some additional instructions because eventually we or the purpose of the exercise is to focus on specific block instructions but they require additional instructions as well and here you have an exercise for instance a hello world exercise that we will show later and you can always have access to the Arduino code uh, sorry for uh, to the Fatalino code here and also, you can always have access to the simulation of this code through the Tinkercad simulator. Here, if you press simulator, uh, start simulation, you will see uh, in this case uh, that the serial monitor, uh, this exercise is just to show a sentence in the serial monitor that also it's uh, displayed when, when we execute the code. Okay, so all this stuff can be. Um, seen in uh, all, all these exercises, I, I, I invite you to, to look at them. But also, we have here also some specific projects exercises. Some of them are coming soon, but others are, are already ready for you. Like, for instance, uh, exercises for uh, playing with a, a classic RGB uh, LED strip in which we want to do some kind of LED rays. So if you go here, you have specific tutorials like getting started, start by um, uh, step by step programming and implementing the basic LED race in the end, in which you can of course uh, finish by generating some kind of complex code, but everything is explained step by step until you get there, exactly in the same way as we did before. So we have the required material. This is one example of. Uh, of the material you can use, the work instructions, additional instructions, and some very basic ex examples in which you can press the start again. And in this case, we the purpose of this exercise is to set this LED on, in this, for instance. Okay, so let me uh, go back here, and uh, finally, I would like to finish this video by uh, explaining how to download uh, Fazilino. Okay. Fathelino can be downloaded in two versions. One of them is the Fathelino OTA GUI version, GUI version which, which is graphic user interface version. It's an application that you install on a Windows machine. And also an OTA server version in which it's a binary that you execute on a console command and then allows you to use a web browser uh, to use Fathelino so that the web browser sends the code to the, uh, the other server and then compile the code for you and return it back to the electronics. Okay, let me uh, start with this one, or let me present this one indeed, in which you just simply need to download the installer. Uh, it's a binary file that once you install it, uh, you need to allow it, uh, Windows because it's not registered. Uh, you need to specifically allow that you want to execute this uh, file. Here you have the non uh, installation, non admin version. And the first time, and this is important, the first time you use Fathlino and it's a blank installation, it will require, require a, a, a big amount of time, we're talking about 10 minutes, minutes at least, in order to install the full uh, set of libraries. So the, the, the Fathlino itself, it's installed immediately, it's, a, uh, it's just simply a binary that does not require uh, too much to install. But once you run Fathlino but for the first time, it will take time in order to install the full set of libraries and dependencies that Fathelino needs. Okay, in the next video I will show you how to use actually Fathelino, this version of Fathelino. Thank you very much.